Hello beautiful souls, welcome to the spirit message for the week of April 22nd through the 27th and I'm out here in the garden again because um, there's a force that keeps coming forward calling my attention to it and that's this force of destruction. Um, I just came out of a um, oracle party with uh, my community and um, one of the cards that was drawn was the alpha dragon and it was this force of you know destroying things taking things down in order for new to be building up right the destruction in order to create and uh, this is also the force of Shiva it's coming forward for me as a jaguar as well um, really really strong in the ethers this week and the reason when I that the reason I'm out here is because I, I came outside and I realized that wow it's right here in our backyard too and as you can see behind me is this a great big pile of brush we had um, we had a great big tree it's just ready to go and um, that brush is like branches from it and today we um, got a bunch of chipping done so um, and it was noisy and it was you know there were gas fumes and all the stuff it was just you know this this scene of destruction well this whole area back here and you can still see there's some of the um, larger pieces that we're gonna make a uh, hugel culture mounds out of and, and garden with um, but then we also have this pile of chips well this whole area back here had been this big tangled pile of brush that looked just like what you recently saw in in the background there and it was it was kind of awful and it's been here for the last the three years while we've had this property um, every year I kept meaning to to go in and chip it up and um, never got to it and um, now here it is and even though it was sort of an unpleasant few hours wow it's clear and now it's ready to go in and put in new garden beds I am so excited about it because it's going to really expand what I'm able to grow in here and to me coming out here it's just this beautiful metaphor of you know how that destructive force um, even though it's not pleasant when it comes through, um, is, is really um, something that is necessary and can be a very, very positive force and a force for change. In the last few days, I've had several people talk about losing jobs. And um, one of them was a friend of mine who was a, a copywriter, and she had this client that was really, uh, she liked the client, but the, the client's manager was really, really challenging. And she said one day she, she got in there and she couldn't log in, and she's like, oh, well, I guess that's it and um, you know that that whole thing had been axed and she felt this huge sense of relief um, so sometimes when it comes through in our life a um, couple other people just this past week were talking about having lost jobs and it turned out to be the best thing for them because it allowed them and gave them the the freedom to move forward into something that was far more aligned um, so just a word of encouragement if you're experiencing that kind of you know destructive change you know having to move um, having to you know uh, think about a different kind of employment of whatever it is related relationship, you know, um, leaving, then, hey, you know, um, encouragement that sometimes this is what one needs to go through in order for uh, better things to start coming into our lives. And um, so in this season of, uh, of, of change in springtime, I think uh, it, it just feels like a, a really beautiful energy. This is also the energy of Shiva. Um, you know the the destroyer who is also the creator and I think that's an aspect of Chiva that is often not understood but but I think it's really important to remember that that destructive force um, it, it can be a very very positive force for change also if you think of the story of Yeshua turning over the tables in the temple I, I used to kind of um, think about that story and it just didn't I couldn't quite understand it it's like well he kind of lost it right and it was like I it just felt sort of inappropriate but anymore it it doesn't it feels like sometimes we have to just you know that that sense of sacred or righteous rage sometimes is an uh, um 
an emotion that that has to come up in order for things to really change for the better so um, just a few thoughts about if you know if you're coming up against energies like that um, you know that can be really a really really powerful force to tap into in order to create a sacred change in our lives and in the world um, so spirit message for this week and I'm going to be drawing a card in just a minute um, to support us through this week. Okay, here we are back in the studio. I'm going to pull one card from my Spirit Animal Awareness Oracle deck and just to support us through this week. And let's see what wants to come forward. Oh, it's horse. So a couple things about horse that are coming forward. One is selfless devotion. Horse, of course, has been this... Um, you know, for thousands of years, this companion to mankind who has really just helped, uh, um, you know, with whatever humans needed, the pulling loads, carrying, you know, carrying people across, whatever obstacles, um, you know, and also being there as this just incredibly heart-centered beast. Um, you know, I think in this week, just being in the heart is a big thing that we can learn from horse as well as just moving forward, keeping forward, keeping that forward momentum going, whatever it is that you're feeling called to do, feel into your heart for your calling and take action towards what you're being called to do um, message for this week. So if, if you've enjoyed this message, if you enjoy working with spirit animals, stay tuned. I have a big announcement tomorrow. Um, so subscribe if you haven't yet. And remember, you were born to be free.